Charles and I settled here in the booth. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a look at some of the stars here of today's game. Let's get right to it. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll look to throw it off play action. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Picked by Ted Hendricks. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're gonna look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's gonna bring up second down. Here's Montana to throw. His pass caught at the four. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. To throw is Montana. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. DeAndre Hopkins with an amazing diving catch. And the Titans use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Montana will throw for it. That's caught. And it's very quickly, eight to nothing. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Well, partner, not exactly the way they drew up the start of this one, but a chance to redeem themselves and hit the reset button here on their second possession. And I do like that word that you just used, reset, right? In a lot of ways, it's just shaking off what happened before, starting fresh, almost like it's your first drive all over again. Go out and put your best foot forward. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Second down and three. Hoyer. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. Now Hoyer. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. So second and long and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Here's Hoyer. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And some room to roam now. Down to the 10. Touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. 36 yards. And the Steelers have come back to make it a two-point game. Didn't have anything downfield. Swung it out to the flat. He did the rest. Such a staple of so many offenses we see now. You know, in our discussions with offense coordinators, how many times do they tell us, hey, this offense is designed for either a touchdown or a check down. We saw the check down on that play, and boy, was this successful. We saw a touchdown, too. Now Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And now the Steeler offense. 
defense staying out there, and they'll go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. I know it's still just the first half, but we'll see if that two points looms large later. I would have kicked it. And I know that they were trying to equal the score, but sometimes you kind of get seduced into that. It's the first half. Kick the extra point and continue to play so you don't have to chase points later. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Play action. It's Montana. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. They will look to throw Montana. That is caught. He's going to have the first down and more than that. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A big play there on the catch and run. 38 yards. On first down, Montana. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Dominique Rogers Cromarty. And the Steelers are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Complete. Jefferson the target. So the completion good for six yards. And it's second down. 8-6 the score after one. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a second and four coming up. That's down the field for Jefferson. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. Second and 10. Play fake, now here's Montana. His throw caught at about the five. And it's a Titans touchdown. Jack Stoll, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked by Ted Hendricks. 